What's up YouTube, Combat here. Let's talk about gun variants and whether or not they're good for the Call of Duty franchise. And truth be told, uh, it's a very small sample size. We've only had them in two games and there's been, I think, 14 or 15 in this series. Um, we first saw gun variants in Advanced Warfare, which was Sledgehammer's um, clusterfuck of a game back in 2014. Uh, and... It was a decent idea, it was something that had never been done in Call of Duty before, but no one really liked it. Uh, it's not something that works well in Call of Duty. It's great in a game that's, you know, like Borderlands, where you want to have loads of different options, you want to be able to get that gun that you have better. But when it's a game that's based on skill and should be based on weapon balance, and the fact that it's not available for everybody to get through just um, earning and unlocking, it was a random chance you get gotten supply drops, to be able to get the guns, it was not a good model. And then once we saw um, the actual ability to buy these supply drops come in from Advanced Warfare, then it was more of a pay-to-win scale. Especially when it came to the BAL, uh, there was Obsidian Steed, that's what it was called. And then the ASM-1 Speakeasy were the two guns that everyone wanted and they were the two most OP things and it was very much a pay-to-win system. It was... You still needed to know where to shoot and how to shoot them, but it made good players better. It made great players amazing, and it made already the disgusting players even better than what they were before. And it's just not fair that a gun should be able to do that. We should have close to balance, and then you need to have some of that add balance still, like the M16 and COD 4. Um, it's just something there, but at the same time, the fact that it's just in the main game with M16 uh, and COD 4, makes it not so much pay to win you actually need to know how to use it but when you have a bow when you have the obsidian steed variant or you have the asm1 uh speakeasy variant it really does ruin call of duty it really does ruin the fun aspect of the game and does ruin what the game was intended to do which was um try to be fair and let your skill come through so i don't like it and the fact that they decided to return it here in Infinite Warfare was a very poor decision, and the fact that we can already buy COD points uh, in November, and we can get these, <laughs> these, um, I, what's the word I'm looking for, variants, um, is kind of, it's kind of a joke, it's, it is really a joke, it's a, it's a big fucking joke, uh, I don't like the variants idea, I don't think it works in Call of Duty, I don't think, you know, it was smart by Infinite, uh, Infinity War to put it back in, it wasn't very well liked in uh, Advanced Warfare, although it made Sle uh, Sledgehammer and Activision a shit ton of money through supply drops. It didn't make the gamers happy. And I don't. I know that it's a business world, and I'm a business person. And I understand the point of money, and I understand the purpose of it, and I understand why companies want as much as they can get. But they also have to think of the, their customers, right? And if their customers aren't happy, eventually that money is going to start running out, as we've seen in Call of Duty. You know, this money train is starting to slowly slow down. And that's why we're seeing more microtransactions and more micro DLC being put into Call of Duty, is because this once local, like strong locomotive is starting to slow down. And variants just... I don't like them. I don't think they add anything to the gameplay experience. I don't think they make the game better. I don't think they make the game more worth playing. I just overall think they're a bad decision and a bad addition to Call of Duty. No one asked for this. No one wanted this. And once again, we got it in Advanced Warfare. Then no one asked for it again and no one wanted it again. And we got it in Infinite Warfare. Now I am quite confident that we're not going to see it in Call of Duty 2017 with uh, whatever Sledgehammer's making, and I'm also quite confident that we're not going to see it in any other Call of Duty after this, because there has been a big blowback from this, because people don't like the weapon um, the weapon variants. Now let's look at Black Ops 3. There were no weapon variants in that game, and people still were pissed off the supply drop system, but not as much, because the guns they brought in weren't, you know, overpowered beasts uh, of guns, they just weren't. Uh, they were pretty mid-tier in every single way which made it feel more, um, I guess, balanced than something like the Obsidian Steed or the Speakeasy. And really, I don't know what the best uh, variants are in Infinite Warfare because I don't have a lot of time played in this game because I don't like the game, personally. I don't think it's that great of a game. Obviously, like I said in my Is Infinite Warfare Good or Not video, 
Uh, I did say that I can enjoy it for short periods of time, but that's about it. And uh, that's where we are right now. So I want to know what you guys think. Let me know with a comment down below. What do you think of weapon variants in Call of Duty? Do you think they should return uh, in future installments of Call of Duty? And guys, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, combat signing off. Peace.